Good morning, everybody. Mike Vaki, PrincetonTrader.com, here for NTMarkets.com with your Monday morning pre-market webcast. Okay, so we had a very interesting night. A lot of issues over in Greece. We gapped down about 35 handles, I think, at its worst. Uh, we made a low at 54. Then you started to see, you know, signs of a bounce. You started to see some lower highs. This is a 15-minute chart, but we traded down to 54. We made a lower high at 55 quarter. That got us in the room. That got us long 57. We used 54 as a marker, and you know, it just kind of took off from there. So we've We've taken profits on that trade. We've still got a third of that trade left, and we're just letting it work. Uh, you know, we've been up as much as 22 handles. Um, uh, we booked uh, we booked six handles and 10 handles respectively because I mean you've got to take profit because you are playing a bounce, uh, and it's certainly a counter trend bounce. Um, so you know you've got to you've got to respect that. And understand that if it runs higher, it's going to run higher, but it's going to run higher with your runner. And you cannot, um, you can't just hold all of it, you know. You have to trade it responsibly, especially in a headline-driven market like this. You've got, you know, I was saying last week, control your size, control your stops. Take your money when you have it. Let the runners run. And you get stopped out, you know, you get stopped out at even. It's, uh, you know, it's... It's really no different. We're just doing it from a lower level. So headed into today, here's what I'm looking for. You see R3 here at uh, 2065.17. That had been resistance initially. They had turned it back into support. They reestablished it as support uh, before the Europe open. It jumped back on top of the daily lower band, which is coming around 68.69. That held up on a pullback at about 6.30 this morning, and now we're just kind of floating. You've got resistance up here at, um, at R2, 79.67. So you can see we're here. Now, if you are the bulls, you want to hold the daily lower band, okay? And you want to break above R2 and try to go on up to daily pivot and fill this gap. And yes, that's 20 handles away, but it's got the volatility to do it. If you're the bears, you want to crack the daily lower band, you want to break back below R3, and you want to go back down and test 2054. Yeah, that's 20 handles, but there's enough volatility to do it. So what am I telling you ultimately? I'm telling you right now at 9.02 in the morning Eastern time, you've got an upside area of 2094, a downside area of 2054, and we are trading smack in the middle of it at 74. So, you know, is there an edge right now? No, there really isn't. It's going to break up or down depending on, uh, on, on the news. And that's the other thing you have to understand. We are going to get pushed around by news today. We are going to get pushed around by news. Don't, you know, don't chase too much in one direction or the other. If you get a trade going, get your, you know, control your size, control your risk, you know, use stops, take profits when you have them, let the runners run. So it's very basic stuff, but I just want to emphasize 94, 54, we're at 74. So you got to let this, you know, you got to let it open and see what it wants to do. Your clues will be what's going to be resistance, 79 area or 69. So here's your initial resistance, 79, 69, we're trading 74. We're trading in the middle of a range that's in the middle of a range. So... This is the time to watch. All right, everybody have a good one. Follow us on Twitter at Princeton Trader. Check out the website. Come check out the chat room. Come check out the chat room. We were all over this last night. We were all over it last week. We plan to be all over it, you know, for the rest of this week. And, you know, it's a great group of people. It's an excellent team. And uh, it's, you know, I, I have said this for years, long before I ever started Princeton Trader, don't trade this stuff alone don't trade it alone um, there's a reason that professional trading desks have everybody in a, in a big room and everybody's all in there don't trade this stuff alone don't trade in a vacuum um, you know trade it somewhere you know trade with people that you know are gonna have your back so everybody have a good one I'll be back tomorrow morning with another webcast trade them well